stole my heart, caught us on Your love is so magnetic, keeps pulling me closer in Y tú son mi todo padre, you are my Well, I, I did this whole research on the names Liberty and Victoria, but then just to summarize it, I, I see Liberty as liberation, like freedom to do anything, to run whatever skills and to go through whatever progressions on the guitar. So um, Liberty Victoria is supposed to be able to do whatever I want it to do. And victory, victory in Christ. So I dedicated this guitar to God just when I, I got it because he is everything to me and um, I'm a gospel artist so um, and I'm planning to use this or I was planning to use this in the first place to glorify him in whatever I do. I believe that um, I'm talented and that's like my way of giving back to God what he gave to me. Um, he gave me this voice, he's given me the ability to compose, so that's my way of giving back to you. Yeah, I love Spanish. Me gusta español. <laughs> there really isn't a connection between medicine and music, though um, I've read a bit about music therapy, but then um, that isn't what got me into liking music. I've, I've been singing since childhood, but then um, I started composing when I was in um, third year medical school, when I got my guitar. <laughs> yeah, um, so I would learn a few progressions and then I will get words to sing along and then that's how music started for me. I, didn't, I never thought of myself as a musician when I was growing up. When I was a kid, um, I had a slum book and I looked through it even today and I was like, wow, even when I was, when I was a kid I wanted to be a pediatrician. So since childhood I always wanted to be a doctor but then um, I was also singing then, but music was, was not like part of a career that I wanted to do, yeah. Personally, I like the surgical part more than the medical part. It, it's interesting going to theatre and cutting the abdomen. I, I, it sounds horrible, but then it's actually fun. I mean, doing cesarean sections, getting a baby out, it's, it's exciting. That's, that's, I think I've always been a bit adventurous, so getting something that is a little different, it's fun for me. Oh, with medicine, um, I'm more drawn into public health than the clinical practice. I think it, it makes more sense to um, get to know um, the problem that um, a particular community faces and then researching and finding the, the solution and then getting it out there and saving 10,000 of people instead of just one person. I think, I think that's cool. So I'm looking into going into public health. Well, I think growing up, I looked up mostly to my dad because um, usually we would have devotion and devotion wasn't just like um, sitting down and um, sharing the word, but it was usually the time that he would advise us. So he had so much to teach us when we were kids. So he, I, I, I have always looked up to him yeah, as my inspiration. I wasn't so much of the person who would be reading. I'll just um, read close to exams and then during the exams I'll pass and then it will be good. But then when I got to medical school, it was really different. I mean, you can't say that you're waiting until the last week before you start learning. It was, it was really challenging getting myself to always sit down and learn and stuff like that. There were times that I actually had to reset exams, so it, it wasn't easy. It it made me realize that um, it's you can't just take life easy and for granted. Take um, the fact that you're blessed and knowledgeable for granted. You have to 
be serious in life. I'm actually doing two professions now and it, it's not easy because music as full-time isn't easy. I mean, starting made me realize it. It's not just um, waking up and going on stage and singing. Um, voice training is important, rehearsals equally important. So yeah, I'm doing both now. When I'm at the hospital, I'm very professional. You, if you don't know me as ukulele, you wouldn't know I sing. Apart from the fact that sometimes I have this musical background in the consulting room, yeah. But then, um, when it's time for music, say I have to go to the studio after work and stuff like that, I usually don't feel tired. It's when I get home that it all just comes back, oh, I'm tired, I have to sleep. But then, yeah, I, I don't know how I get the strength, it's by the grace of God. One way or the other, I find myself practicing. I mean, I might not go strictly by the voice training um, practice schedule, but then I get my guitar and I'm singing. <laughs> Imagine how I found love. It hit me like a bomb. So I can't tell how. Running against my body. Now I can't let it go. Ask me what I'm talking about. First of all, I'd say I'm um, finding out about or reading about both professions it's not enough to know that you can be this or that it's you have to know what goes into it first maybe <laughs> before you even go into both um, secondly I would say planning I since childhood I've been planning it's it's something we used to do when we were kids and my dad would um, give us these books, account books, and he would give us money and he would say that whenever you take money out of it, you calculate. So if, say, I'm buying Toffee one CD, I'll put it down and um, at the end of the month, you just show it to him. So that was, that was monetary, but then in the long run, I realized that I usually plan everything. I like, I like to plan ahead and when you plan ahead and um, you're time conscious, that'll probably be my third point. Time is a resource. You have to be time conscious. When you're time conscious, you end up achieving a lot. Singing is fun. <laughs> um, I like to, I like adventure. I like traveling. I like seeing new things. Like if say I'm going for a concert, I'm, I'm looking at being wowed. Um, I like to watch people. <laughs> You can learn so much by watching people. Banco and Fancy Fancy. <laughs> mm, I wouldn't call jollof a fancy food. <laughs> but yeah, I like, I love jollof. Yeah, um, I like Kelly Willy. Um, yeah, mainly that. Hi, my name is Dr. Esther Kukwa Anthonyan and Annan. <laughs> and. <laughs> Hi, my name is Dr. Esther Kukwa Antonian Annan and I'm a game changer. <laughs>